Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I appreciate this opportunity to um, recognize uh, Women's History Month. Uh, I, this is a special uh, month for me. It's an opportunity to uh, honor the legacy of the of, uh, women who've made a lasting impact on our nation, um, on our uh, state, and on our city. Um, I'd like to take a moment, for example, to recognize some of the Portland women who have had a profound influence on my life. Uh, for example, I owe a lot to Harriet Redman. Uh, she was a black Portlander uh, and a suffragette. Um, she helped win the right uh, for uh, women in Oregon to vote. Uh, women in Oregon gained the right to vote in local elections in 1912. That's eight years before all American women gained the right to vote in national elections. Uh, Harriet was uh, born in 1862 in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, by the 1880s, she settled in Portland. Her family attended Mount Olive Baptist Church, which is still going strong. Uh, Miss Redmond held suffragette meetings and lectures in the church. Her organizing efforts were key to passing the ballot measure that ultimately gave women the right to vote here in Oregon. Uh, uh, Miss Harriet died in 1952 at the age of 90. Uh, she is buried in Lone Fir uh, Pioneer Cemetery in the Buckman neighborhood, and I visit her grave often uh, um, because I think it's important for me to remember and honor the people who got me to where I am today. I would also like to recognize and honor um, Gladys McCoy, uh, who the mayor mentioned. Uh, um, Gladys McCoy was the first African-American uh, woman to be elected to office in Oregon. Uh, in 1970, she was elected to the school board. Um, I got to know uh, Chair McCoy in the early 1990s uh, when she served on as chair of Multnomah County. Uh, she literally gave me my first job out of college. And 30 years later, every day of my life, I think about the door of opportunity that Chair McCoy opened for uh, me. I would not be here today if it weren't for uh, Gladys McCoy, and part of my mission on council is to honor her legacy. Um, I'd also want to recognize and celebrate Governor Barbara Roberts, who in 1991 became the first woman to serve uh, as governor of Oregon. I worked a couple of legislative sessions when Governor Roberts was in office. She had a profound impact on me. I admire and try to model her common sense and human decency. And let me tell you this, anytime I'm confronted with a tough decision, I ask myself, what would Governor Roberts do? Um, and I also want to recognize um, my colleague and friend, Joanne Hardesty. Joanne is, of course, the first Black woman to serve on Portland City Council. She is truly a Portland trailblazer. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to recognize my friend and colleague, Carmen Rubio, who, of course, is the first Latina to serve on Portland City Council. And I'd like to take this moment to share a story with Commissioner Rubio. Uh, literally earlier this week, I was meeting with a constituent. Um, she was a young Latina woman. And in our conversation, she described Commissioner Rubio as her representative on council. And I thought about that a lot. And I think what she meant was that when she saw Commissioner Rubio, she saw herself. Uh, um, and that gave her the courage to engage with city politics. Uh, so Commissioner Rubio, by her leadership uh, and presence on council, is literally growing democracy. So Commissioner Rubio, it is an honor to serve with you. Um, thank you so much for everything that you've given to our city. And I wanna thank uh, um, all the women who've helped make Portland the place that it is. And I wanna thank every, every woman who's helped make me the man that I am. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.